Hello everyone, it's Linda again. Welcome back to my channel. I have an exciting topic for you today. We're going to dive into using Google Workspace domain-wide delegation with a service account to access Google Calendar using .NET. So if you're a developer looking to integrate Google Calendar functionality into your .NET application, then you're in the right place. The first thing you need to do is make sure that you have your development environment set up. I'm using Rider. I have .NET added. I have created a simple console application. It doesn't matter what type of application you create for this. I have also included the Google Apis.NET client library. This will allow me to access all of the methods for the Google Calendar API, and it handles all the authorization for me, which makes my life a lot easier. To do this, you need to have already created the service account credentials JSON file. This is done over on Google Cloud Console. You should already know how to do that, but if you don't, I have another video that you can go ahead and check out later to see how to do it. Just remember under library to enable the Google Calendar API. I'm not sure which uh, library I enabled in that uh, tutorial. Now, there's a critical point here. For this to work, the admin of your Google Workspace domain must first configure domain-wide delegation to the service account. This is to ensure that the service account has the necessary permissions to access Google Calendar data across the entire domain. And remember, it is essential to check that the scope that you will be using has been configured. If it's not set up correctly, you won't be able to access Google Calendar API. All right, let's jump into the code part. Before that, let me remind you to hit the like button. And if you find this uh, video useful and helpful, uh, don't forget to subscribe for more in-depth tutorials like this. I've already added some basic things that we need, like the usings and a few constants. The scopes, which I mentioned before, is the scope of authorization that we will need to access the Google Calendar API. I normally just give it full access, the full calendar scope, because this is a service account and I'm the one using it. You can, of course, set it to other scopes. Then the path to the credentials JSON file for the service account, which I downloaded earlier. Now we need to create the credentials object. This is done by loading the credentials JSON file, adding the scopes, and then the user on the workspace domain, which we would like to impersonate. It is this user's data, which we will have access to. So if you want to access more than one user on your domain, you will need to create different credentials objects for each user or change it as you go. Remember, service accounts must impersonate a user on the workspace domain to work. And we use create with user to do this. Now we can create the new calendar service object, passing in our credentials object. All the requests that we make to the Google Calendar API will run through this service object. Let's try it and see if we can get the ID back for the user's primary calendar. This should return the email address of the user we are impersonating if it worked. If it didn't work, then you will get back the ID of the service account itself. Now let's run it. There, we got back the email address of the user we are impersonating. We can now use the service account to access their Google Calendar data on their behalf. So we can automatically create events. We can check to see whether or not they have 
any events going on right now before we create an event. Uh, you can add new calendars. You can do all kinds of things with the Google Calendar API. Just remember, for service accounts to work with the Google Calendar API, you must go through Workspace and you must configure domain-wide delegation. This is not going to work with a standard Gmail user account, even though you probably can find several tutorials online that said it does work. And that is because this is something that Google changed around 2017, 2018, I think. So from now on, you have to go through Workspace. Well, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, as always, have a great day.